This is Zurich, a city in Switzerland. And this is Vinnytsia, a city in Ukraine. What unites them? They are united by trams. I guess you didn't know, but Ukrainian Vinnytsia has been transporting passengers by ex zurich trams for more than 15 years. And today we will talk about how it happened. Zurich's tram system is the largest in Switzerland. It has been working continuously since 1882 and nowadays it is constantly developing and updating. At the beginning of the 2000s Zurich began to receive new low-floor Bombardier Cobra trams. And the city was faced with the question, what to do with more than a hundred of old trams which were to be gradually replaced by these new ones. These old wagons had been in service in the city since 1966 and their name Mirage jokingly stuck to them because when purchased they turned out to be almost as expensive as the Mirage fighters that the Swiss army was buying then. But at the same time the trams were very reliable and thanks to high quality maintenance were still in a perfect condition in the 2000s. So the Zurich transport company began to calculate various options and came to the conclusion that it would be cheaper to simply give these wagons to someone than to utilize them in Switzerland in accordance with all the requirements. Therefore they began to look for someone to hand them over to. The search circle wasn't very wide, it had to be a European city so as not to deliver them too far. And it had to have a tram network with a narrow 1 meter gauge like in Zurich, which is not so common in a modern tram world. As a result they choose Ukraine where there are several cities with a narrow gauge tram systems. And Lviv and Vinnytsia were the most suitable for this in terms of size. The Zurich delegation visited those cities and as a result decided to transfer their trams to Vinnytsia where they liked the condition of the tram tracks and repair workshops much more. Beloved trams, just like a kitten, should be given only to good hands. The process of transferring wagons from Zurich to Vinnytsia started in 2006 and in a few years 116 trams were transported to the Ukrainian city along with a stock of spare parts and equipment for their maintenance. And moreover, before departure all the wagons underwent major repairs so they were practically as new. The entire operation cost was 3.5 million Swiss francs, 90% of which was paid by the Swiss government. The city of Vinnytsia at that time was using Czech Tatra KT4 trams which were kinda tired of life and in need of replacement. So getting a hundred wagons from Zurich was a huge stroke of luck and gave the city an opportunity to expand the network and open several new routes. Swiss trams were very popular among residents and became an integral part of Vinnytsia cityscape and its new landmark. Something like a part of Switzerland in Ukraine. The appearance of Zurich trams also affected other public transport in Vinnytsia. Their white and blue livery became the standard of Vinnytsia public transport. Now all the city trolleybuses and other trams are also painted in these colors. Interesting thing is that one of the trams still runs in Vinnytsia with advertisement for the Zurich ballot, which looked so stylish that the local transport company decided to keep it. But Winnitsa trams are not only mirages, big minus of which is the steps at the entrance which makes them non-inclusive. Therefore, since 2015 Winnitsa tram depot began to modernize Tatra KT4 trams with its own efforts. With a complete design change, adding a low floor central section and usage of modern electronics. These trams already look much more modern and the most important thing is that they are accessible for people in wheelchairs. And since then 10 wagons have been modernized in this way. They are also working on the developing of the tram network in Vinnytsia. For example, they've opened a new built tram line at Kaletska Street in 2014. 
Also, they plan to restore the tram tracks on Kotsubinsky Avenue, which once existed but were dismantled in the 1970s. This would provide the fastest possible connection between the city center and the railway station. In order to find the best solution, the city council together with Swiss consultants held an urban competition a few years ago in which several teams proposed their visions of street renewal. This project became another stage of cooperation between Winnica and Zurich. There are also plans to update the railway station square, now it looks like this, and according to the vision of Vinnitsa planners it should become like this. Unfortunately, these development plans have been put on hold due to Russian aggression against Ukraine. Vinnitsa itself has also repeatedly become a victim of Russian missile attacks, the worst of which occurred on July 14, 2022. Then a Russian caliber missile struck a busy city intersection in the middle of the day and exploded next to a high-rise office building. One of the ex Zurich trams passing by was damaged by debris, but the worst thing was that 27 people were killed, including 3 children, and more than 200 were injured. The dead people cannot be returned, but the damaged tram has already been restored and released on the route again. By the way, this intersection, which was hit by a Russian missile, was also among those worked on at that urban planning competition. Someone thinks about how to improve their hometown and someone launches a missiles at peaceful people. That's madness. One way or another, even despite these horrors, the development of public transport in Winnitsa did not stop completely and this year Zurich began to transfer its trams of a newer generation to Winnitsa under the same scheme. This time these are Tram 2000 model, manufactured in 1970s and 80s, and Venice is going to receive a total of 35 trams. And in Zurich they are being gradually replaced by a new generation of Bombardier Flexity. And I would like to end this story on a sentimental note. During the transfer of Mirage trams to Ukraine, Zurich kept a couple of them and put into the tram museum. And in 2019 they unexpectedly had to return to the line and start carrying passengers again. The city launched a new tram route then, but not all the needed new trams arrived from the factory in time. There was a shortage of wagons and in order to compensate it, city decided to temporarily return all the Mirage trams to the line. And I can't stop imagining this as a cartoon scene where an old tram nostalgically smiles and winks at the morning commuters. Am I okay? Mirage's comeback lasted until April 2021, when Zurich finally received all the necessary Bombardier flexity, and the old trams could finally go to the museum. Now they have a well-deserved rest there and go outside only during the tram parades along with other exhibits. And that's all for a moment. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, leave your comments and support Ukraine. And also visit our Patreon page where you can support our channel. And see you in the next videos.